Hey guys, today I'm going to review for you an application that enables you to interact, respond, and ignore, if you'd like, your text messages on your device without having or leaving anything that you're already doing on your device. It's a great way, it's free, it's available on the Play Store, and it's also available for direct download through the XCA thread. Let's check it out. We'll post an article on the XDA portal referencing an app that was put together by XDA forum member Manuja95. The app is called Floating Text. What it does essentially is provide you a notification style text messaging alert that enables you to respond to these messages anywhere you are on your phone, be it a video, looking at pictures on Instagram, anywhere. It just pops up at roughly where your navigation bar is right under it. You're able to respond. It's customizable. It's free. Let's check out the thread. The thread gives us just an explanation of what the application is itself and what it does. It's available as a download straight from the actual thread right here. Just follow the link or you can go to the Google Play Store. Let's check it out on the device. We'll go ahead and download the application on the device. Go ahead and install it. It gives you the icon. We'll be able to launch it. The interface itself is very simple. It's actually a one page. There's no additional customization available. By default, it comes in turned on with the hollow light features. It looks a little bit washed off. I like to go to the hollow dark side. And um, overall, the actual settings are pretty simple. You have it on, you can turn it on and off. You can set how long the duration of the alert comes in. Random alert colors are basically if you wanna just have it be creative and keep changing every time you turn it on. Uh, disabling the ability for it to disappear, it will, it will basically stay persistent in front of you uh, as far as an alert till you respond to it. You're able to contact the developer using this uh, middle section. The new features, or at least the update that just got released today as I was in the process of getting ready for this review, is the ability to change colors outside of just the three main colors which is the blue green and purple um, you probably have seen these things maybe on, on the article picture that we put out uh, overall I like the whole dark theme and you're also able to go in and customize the multiple colors of course you can go really funky and go with all the many things I'm happy I like the hollow theme uh, ability here. You're able to customize the font, the solid color, and then again, so you can go in and change it to your heart's content there. I'm happy with white. I just want it to be consistently a good color to be for me to be able to read. Um, other than that, actually, overall, the settings are pretty simple. You're able to get out of this application, go out and do exactly what you want. We'll go back into the Google Play Store. And as it's loading, uh, you guys will notice, oh, we just got a text message. We'll be able to hit reply and just say, Great so far. Send. It's done. We're gone. We'll just say OK. Overall, this is the, uh, again, I don't know if you probably have seen this. This is the latest update to the Google Play Store. We're able to see just the main updates here and go ahead and work with it. The app works very, very nice, and it, it just works very, very well in the way it, it did implement the uh, the work on it. It doesn't intrude to your phone. It doesn't intrude into the system. And then, as you can see here, it comes back again. I'm able to actually see it, respond, and I'll just say OK. I'll cancel it up and then you're able to stay and do exactly what you want. The app installs and runs very nicely on your device. I find it very simple. It supports Android 2.2 and up. Very non-intrusive. It's free, available on the Google Play Store, and available as a direct download from the thread. Uh, the ability to customize the colors have been good. Um, I found them to be a little bit colorful. Well, okay, I say, I say colorful in the sense of basically, you know, the purple color, the green color. The, the colors that they provided us initially, uh, in my opinion, were slightly too uh, bright. Um, that's the best way to explain it. I like my, the colors on my on my device to kind of stay in the more holo theme. So uh, the new update that got pushed literally in the middle of filming this video or getting ready for this video um, was actually a very nice surprise and made me change my opinion about the application actually almost entirely. So I've converted over to the holo, the, uh, holo theme and it works very nice. Again, it's a free app. It's available on the Google Play Store. It's not intending to replace any of your major applications. So if you have Paranoid Android, if you've used this SMS before, this is not a replacement for it. This is another option if you want to go into the free option available through XDA, supported through XDA, and obviously supported by the developer uh, that's pushing out updates very quickly. Check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll give you some links in the description as far as how to get access to this application. As usual, like and subscribe to this channel. Like and subscribe to mine, please. Uh, and I will see you guys next week. Uh, kind of a heads up, I'm looking into starting a new th uh, series on Tuesdays. So you'll start seeing some new, uh, and I'm calling them the Exposed Tuesdays. So it'll be focused more on the Exposed Framework um, applications available on, the, on XDA since we've had such a flurry of them recently. So I'll see you guys next week.